Hi, I'm Ashley Meschke, and I'm a product specialist here at Atlas Copco. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to license an STR wrench. Before we begin, there are a few things that we need. To start, we need an FMS USB device, which will carry over the license to the STR wrench. I have an STR wrench integrated controller production license already loaded onto this dongle. We're also going to need a USB-C cable, which connects to the STR wrench. And now, we need a USB-C to USB adapter in order to get the connection style between the STR wrench and the FMS dongle to pair. Final requirement before we get to licensing will be a wireless router or phone hotspot. It's necessary to allow the possibility to reach the web GUI of the wrench while leaving the USB-C port free for the FMS dongle, so connecting the wrench to your internal network is required. Today, I'll be using my phone's hotspot and I'll connect to my laptop. Once we have everything ready, we can begin licensing the STR wrench. To begin, connect the STR wrench to a personal computer using a USB-C cable. We can connect to the wrench through the standard IP address 169.254.1.1 and access its web GUI. Now we need to connect the wrench to an internal network. In the settings tab under network, you will see the field wireless client. Select edit. Enable the DHCP by toggling the dial to on and verify that the network name or SSID and the security key are entered correctly. Your IP address, subnet, and gateway will be assigned if the connection and last step was done successfully. Now we're going to use the new IP address that we were just assigned to access the STR wrench web GUI without the USB-C cable. Type in your browser the new IP address of the STR wrench in your internal network to enter the STR wrench web GUI. Now on to actually licensing the STR wrench. First, we're going to check the date and time are correctly set. Select Settings, then Preferences to check. If they're not set correctly, please set them. This will allow the licensing process to proceed smoothly. Now we can connect the FMS portable dongle to the STR wrench controller through its USB-C port. This is where a USB-C to USB adapter must be used. Once the wrench has detected the dongle, you will automatically be able to see all the licenses inside it. Click on the left arrow near the number of the STR Wrench Integrated Controller Production Licenses to move one license to the controller, then click OK. Now we can see if we had a successful upload. On the main menu of the STR Wrench Web GUI, click on the Integrated Controller Tool section. Then, from the Virtual Station, click the Virtual Station type and select the license you've just assigned to your controller. Now that the Virtual Station has been linked to the license, it's only necessary to assign a tightening program to the virtual station. Now the STR wrench is ready to be used. I hope this video helped licensing your STR wrench. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Product Marketing. Thanks for watching.